Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 mathematics, chapter 3 data handling. Today we are going to learn mode. What is mode? As we have said, mean is not the only measure of central tendency or the only form of representative value. For different requirements from a data other measures of central tendencies are used we have to take an example to find out the weekly demand for different sizes of shirt a shopkeeper kept records of sales of sizes 90 cm 95 cm 100 cm 105 cm and 110 cm Following is the record for a week. Size and number of shirts sold. 90 cm sold 8 pieces. 95 cm sold 22 pieces. For 100 cm they sold out 32 pieces. For 105 cm it is 37 and 110 cm it is 6 pieces. Total, they sold out 105 shirts. If the shopkeeper found the mean number of shirts sold, do you think that he would be able to decide which shirt sizes to keep in stock? Mean of total shirts sold is equal to total number of shirts sold divided by number of different sizes of shirts. Then we get 105 by 5 equal to 21. Should he obtain 21 shirts of each size? If he does so, will he be able to cater to the needs of the customers? The shopkeeper, on looking at the record, decides to procure shirts of sizes 95 cm, 100 cm and 105 cm. He decided to postpone the procurement of the shirts of other sizes because of their small number of buyers. The owner of a ready-made dress shop says the most popular size of dress one cell is the size 90 cm. Observe that here also the owner is concerned about the number of shirts of different sizes sold. She is however looking at the shirt size that is sold the most. This is another representative value for the data. This is another representative value for the data. The highest occurring event is the sale of size 90 cm. This representative value is called the mode of the data. The highest occurring event is the sale of 90 cm. This representative value is called the mode of the data. The mode of a set of observations is the Observation that occurs most often. For example, find the mode of a given set of numbers 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 4. Arranging the numbers with same values together, we get 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4. Mode of this data is 2. Because it occurs more frequently than other observations. Mode of large data. Putting the same observations together and counting them is not easy if the number of observations is large. In such cases, we tabulate the data. Tabulation can begin by putting tally marks and finding the frequency as you did in your previous classes. The mean gives us the average of all observations of the data. The mean gives us the average of all observations of the data. Whereas mode gives us the observations which occurs most frequently in the data. Next is median. What is median? Median refers to the value which lies in the middle of the data. When arranged in an increasing or decreasing order with half of the observations above it and other half below it. We have seen that in some situations arithmetic mean is an appropriate measure of central tendency. 
whereas in some other situations more is the appropriate measure of central tendency thus in a given data arranged in ascending or descending order the median gives us the middle observation in general we may not get the same value for median and mode thus we realize that mean mode and median are the numbers that are the representative values of a group of observations or data they lie between the minimum and maximum values of the data they are also called the measures of the central tendency This is the end of part 2 of data handling chapter 3 of mathematics class 7. If you like my video please like share and subscribe. Thank you.